Oh, hi, you guys. Someone on my channel asked me if I could return this shirt from where I bought it because it's already so hard to find large clothing. And uh, I don't think they live in America because, trust me, there is no difficulty in finding clothing this big. It is common in the United States to see something this big. And uh, it's too bad it's not waterproof because I just bought a poncho and something like this would be perfect. You know, if I had something like this that was waterproof, man, there'd be enough room under here to cover me and my backpack. I mean, look at this. Can you guys see? There's enough room in here to fit four of me. So yeah, this would this would make a perfect poncho if it was waterproof. Maybe I'll just like coat it with a beeswax or something. It's got lots of room and it would be absolutely ideal because with the sleeves, you know, coming just down to, you know, just inches from my wrist, it wouldn't get in the way for doing all kinds of activities in the woods. They could actually hire me for a weight loss commercial because all I'd have to do is put on this shirt and everything and I'd be like, you know, ever since I tried those pills from beaboneass.com, I lost three quarters of a ton. Oh, and you guys said I could get a couple shirts out of this. I could get four shirts out of this. That means for $4, that would be a dollar a shirt. That's a pretty good deal. No, there's no shortage. If anything, what's hard for people to find sizes in America is my size, medium. And pants that are waist 31 by length 34. Usually pants are like, uh, you know, huge. I mean, I'm not kidding. I could buy pants to show you guys. I could buy... I could literally bring home pants that are damn near the width of this port. It's, it's really difficult, you guys, to find uh, clothes my size because people just get bigger and then they complain and they want bigger clothes. And they demand bigger clothes instead of seeing the problem and saying, maybe I should lose weight. Maybe I shouldn't be as wide as a Dodge Ram pickup truck. That's another thing. And I'm not, and I'm not trying to you know, make people feel bad that are overweight. I'm not I don't mean to do that at all. It's just that you guys, you got to seriously think about it. In an SHTF situation with the way this world's getting today, would you really want to try to survive and make it? I don't care if you plan on staying in your home. And they're going to starve us out, you guys. That's how they're going to try to get people to go to the mark of the beast. There is nothing in this world that makes a human being more desperate and will bend to whatever you want them to do other than starving them. Think about it. The bigger your stomach, the more food you're going to have to have to survive. Do you want to get by on a little bit of food or do you want to try to get by on a semi load of food? I'm telling you guys right now, it's no joke. When it comes to survival, you are not going to want to be this big at all. I will find a purpose for it. You guys had some good suggestions. It's really too bad I don't have two of them because I really do need a cover for my van. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.